in this video is on uh, setting up a Euronymph leader. I'm going to demonstrate it with my Sage Spectrum C reel that has the OPSD laser line on it. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you how to I build a Euronymphing uh, leader. Alright, the first step is uh, the knot between uh, your running line and your slider line. Uh, I'm going to use a blood knot. I'm not going to go into great depth about it because there's plenty of good videos on uh, blood knots. Like uh, Tight Line Videos has a great one. But uh, yeah, it's a five turn blood knot between the OPSD laser line and the multicolored cider line. Now you want to pull out about two feet of your slider here. I have the multicolored red and yellow. So I like to get the last little bit, the different color where it starts to change orange before I attach it to my uh, tippet. So we're going to snip this off here and we're going to attach the tippet ring. Oh, we got the tippet ring on. Um, now we're going to attach the tippet to go to your first fly. This is the part where that varies, but uh, I always go with the longer side, even if I'm fishing smaller water, because I can gauge depth by keeping less line out. So when I do hit those bigger pockets, I don't have to change. If it's too short or something, I always go on the longer end, because if, if it's long, you can shorten the line. But if it's uh, too short, you're not going to be able to get in the bottom and then be poles. So I usually go about a wing, about a, almost a wingspan of 5x off my tippet ring to my first fly. So uh, we're going to do that now, and then I'll tie on some flies for demonstration, and we'll finish up, and I'll show you the entire thing. As you can see, we tied our tippet. Yeah, I went a little shorter, I, just because I'll be fishing a smaller stream, and uh, I know the depth pretty well, and this will do, because I'll tie a longer tag into my second fly. But yeah, we just tied that about uh, three feet ish to about a, a size 14 Frenchie Euronymph. And now we're going to tie about 10 to 12 inches down and we're going to tie on a sexy wall worm. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that and then we'll finish up and I'll show you the complete thing. All right, here's our final project. We uh, got the two flies down here about 10 inches from the bottom fly to the point fly and about around three feet tippet 5x to a tippet ring to our slider line which is the red and yellow it's about 2x slider line going to up to a blood knot with our opst laser line the opst laser line is about 30 pounds so that's a quite a drop i wouldn't recommend that big of a drop because the blood knot is hard to do if you're going something that big to something that small but uh i'm able to do it uh, this is my basic setup the OPSD laser line blood knotted to our cider line about two feet to a tippet ring to about three feet to a Frenchie, which I use the improved clinch knots on my flies to about 10 inches of 5x to a uh, sexy waltz worm. And again, the improved clinch knot. Um, this is my basic uh, urine nymph rig. Hopefully this helps you out if you're getting into it. It is very effective. You'll catch a lot more trout fish in general but yes this is my go-to trout setup a Euronymph. i have a 10 foot uh three weight echo shadow 2 knit competition nipping rod and uh, this setup's money wherever you go the again with the from the tippet ring to your flies that's you want to base it off the water pretty well but I always go on the longer end because if it's too short you can't get it to the bottom and then deeper holes but uh yeah we always tie it longer because shorter, uh, shallower holes you can run, keep your line more out of the water. Because you want to have that uh, in cider line, that tippet ring. You don't want it in the water, you want it just above so you can see those twitches. So if it's shallow, you just keep more of your tippet out. 
you can still see those twitches in the cider and you can once you get good enough at it you can see it in the tippet so uh thanks for watching this is uh the basic guide to uh your own nymphing leader setup and the flies i like to use so uh thanks for watching and uh we'll see you on the next video